European check. Oh man. What's going on guys? I'm gonna wait a while. Okay guys, so um I um so I have the video uh for today. Um I'll explain this. Uh so had a miscommunication um with the company that does the final walkthrough for the land bank. Um being transparent, um, they didn't want their faces being shown. Um, I thought I did, you know, I think I did a pretty good job at, you know, not really showing their faces. Um, so I made the video, um, I sent it over to their boss and I, you know, told their boss like, Hey, you know, review the video, let me know, um, you know, is this, you know, is this appropriate? If this is, if they don't like the video, then I told them, hey, I'm, I'll delete it. And we uh, shoot, you know, work together and shoot another time. I think I did a pretty good job on the video uh, as far as, you know, what it was. It was just, you know, little snippets. Um, but so I have that video. It's actually uploaded, but it's private. So because I, you know, um, I did ask for consent, you know, but and uh, the person said they didn't care, but you know, went left. So it doesn't matter. Um, but, um, if they don't like it, then I told I was going to delete it, delete the video and just, you know, we work together, you know, on something else. At the end of the day, this video is helping them out and helping you guys out. And of course, helping me out cause it's content, right? So, but, um, so since I'm not, the since I, I'm not releasing the video, it's up, but it's private. So um I was gonna do a question and answer. So if you guys have some questions um that you wanna ask about anything about the land bank compliance, um let me know. This this is a time to ask. Um and I think you could join in. I think this live lets you join in. So if it does say like join in or whatever. I don't know. I think it's, it says it does, but, um, but yeah, I've been grinding guys, man. It's just been, I'm actually about to get some call of duty in, but I say, you know, let me go live, talk to my people, you know, cause I feel like, you know, like I said, you guys go harder than the people that are supposed to be in my corner, you know, and it ain't easy sitting, talking in front of a camera, you know, it's, it's, I look retarded sometimes standing in front of just, you know, having all this energy in front of a camera. And it's just me, right? So, but you guys, um, yeah. So, but we, I can't talk about what happened today. So they came in, um, and they got the bit. They got down to it. They went into the property. Um, if you look at my video I shot uh, like yesterday, they came in, took a picture. They turned the water on. Took a picture of the um, running water. And then also they um, went in the bath, uh, the bathroom, turned the water on, took a picture of that, um, and that was it. They went in the basement. He took pictures of the furnace, the hot water tank. Took pictures of the connections at the hot water tank. Took a picture of the water meter, and that was it. Uh, can someone hire you to go look at a land bank property uh, before placing the bid? Yes, yeah, some you can hire me to do that. Um, of course, that's going to be a fee. Um, I probably will charge you an in-person, um, uh, in-person fee, uh, same as the in-person consultation. Um, you will have to go. The question was, can they, you know, hire me to go look at their land bank property? I don't have a problem doing that. I would just it'll be the same rate that I charge for an in-person consultation, which will be an hour of my time. Um, you of course have to go to the Detroit Land Bank's property, and you have to set up a uh, what is it called? A um, a viewing, which is uh, of the property, which costs thirty five dollars. It'll give you appointment time and everything. You just pass that on to me. 
uh, confirmation that you did set up the time and then I'll be there and, you know, videotape or, you know, videotape the property, maybe take pictures for you and stuff like this. Did you finish? No, I have not finished the apartment building yet. Um, of course that's, that renovation is like, oh shoot. To be honest with you guys, that's almost like $150,000 renovation, if I'm not mistaken, on that apartment building. So, Right now we have, I have a family member in there. Um, you know, I have one of the units done. The second unit is 80% done. Um, and that you guys can see that on previous videos because I had, you know, I had to change up some things. And in this process, I found some things that I had to redo, right? So... The good thing about the apartment building is not costing me any, any extra money, pay the property taxes, and I could do it on my own time, right? So that's typically what's going on with that. I'm also looking for um, uh, some grants. So they're about to have some grants come up with that. Okay. Is the auction only now? But Okay, so the auction. So the question is, is the auction, which one is better, the auction or the owner now? So your auction properties are tend to be uh, in better condition. But then also they may be in a better area. So it's, it's a little give and take. On, on the now properties are typically going to be in a worse condition, right? But you still have some good ones. It really just depends on what the land bank determines what the better property is supposed to be the auction properties, right? But all my properties have been on it now properties. So um, typically I go for the auction properties because you can't use discounts on the auction properties. I mean on the on it now properties. Auction properties, you'd be competing against people that have the 50% off discount. And, you know, you know, I don't, I ain't got time to be dealing with that. All right. So, what's up, my brother? Be getting with you. Hey, man, get with me, man. Um, you guys can go on my um, uh, my Instagram, Hill Squad underscore PM, or you guys can email me at um, Hero Squad dot pm at gmail.com if you guys want to set up a consultation and even on my videos it should be a consultation link on there um if the consultee consultation link so you're just gonna open my you think i because i'm on live i won't cut up you better not open up my chips you better not open up my oh jesus christ open my chips up Op open them up all right i do apologize but um she think I because I'm on this live. I won't get. I won't cut up. Y'all, y'all already. My people know I cut up. God's still working on me. But um, anyway, yeah. So um, I have tried to um, I have tried to you know bid on a regular auction. But also when you bid on a regular auction, they um. They take a thousand dollars right out your account, right then and there. Um, but then if you lose the bid, it, it goes back. But you know, it's fifty fifty. How much should we save up before? I'm gonna be honest with you. To be on the safe side, you should have at least to even if you were like rushing, like trying to get in, get something, you should at least have like fifteen to twenty thousand. I will say. Just looking back now, and that's just to cover, just to cover the you know the basics. Because at the end of the day, this is a house. You know what I'm saying? Now, my because of the, the condition of the houses, like the house I got, my very first land bank house, the roof was good. The roof was good. I had a little bit of part where water was getting into the basement. I fixed that. I sealed up the brick myself. I had to just get windows and doors in, and um. And do all new electrical, but because they didn't tear out the electrical all the way out the house, I was able to, um, you know, fix a lot of the electrical and um, didn't have to really redo too much of the electrical. So that worked out for me. But in a lot of cases, that may not be the case, you know. Um, you know, you're going to have to get put all new electrical in and all that type of stuff. So. It's um really um I really say about at least fifteen to twenty thousand. The good thing is if you work a nine to five, you can um 
uh, you can uh, use your um, 401k to fund it. You know, do you use a contract? I am my contractor. I am him. <laughs> Only thing I pay some really pay people to do is if I being lazy and I don't want to do it. But I am my own contractor. So I do all my plumbing and electrical. The only thing I don't do is roofs. I don't go up on roofs. That may change, but I just, no, I just don't, mm -mm, I don't like going on roofs. But everything else I did myself, so. Um. So that questionnaire, um, that first inspection, um, I never had a problem with getting that first inspection. I know when COVID was going on, um, that inspection was, um, it was, uh, they had it backed up. But right now, you pay that good money, you you can get your inspection. I think it's like for the single family homes, like $300 or $299, $295. And then for duplexes and up, it might be $350, I think. So it shouldn't take that long. If, uh, if you having a problem with that, please, um, you know, reach out, email, because I want to hear. I want to hear about it, you know, because you know I like to share information if something has changed, you know. So, um, but um, but the preliminary inspection, uh, if you if we're talking about the same thing, the um, the B B C inspection, which is basically the guy comes in. He's from the building safety department. He's just going to basically fail the house because they haven't been there to inspect anything of the house. Your electricity could be done up to code. If you haven't pulled a permit on it, they'll fail it, you know? So, but, you know, it is what it is when it comes to that. You know, good questions, good questions, guys. Oh, I hope this lady emailed me back. She has not. I'm waiting on this text message from this, uh, from the, the land banks, um, this company to say that she's okay with the video. I would hate to have to delete that video. I'm not going to delete the video. I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to probably, I may just get my guy to, um, I'm going to get my uh, guy brother. He knows how to blur out faces and I'm just going to blur all their faces out. But I I don't, I, I feel like doing all that, but if I have to do that, then that's what I have to do. Okay, how long do you have to be land bank compliant? Okay, so I um that questionnaire asked me that question. <laughs> so the rule is, and I have to the rule is you have six months under compliance. Period. You know, so if something if something is going on where you can't finish your house within the six months uh period. You need to reach out to the land bank so they can help you assist in to getting um, um, uh, what's the word um, to help you get compliant or whatever. Um, I have to be politically correct on here. Do you have a roof? I do have. Um, I do have a roof guy. It's my buddy named Lou. His name is Lou. Um, he he's the coolest Mexican I ever met. As a brother from another mother, for sure. He gets you together. But a lot of people be pissing me off because they be pissing him off because they be trying to lowball him. And he does great work. Like he gets in, he gets on that roof, he gets it done, and he's out of there. You know, up to code. Um. Do you think it is realistic to get a home to compliant with? Um, yes, it is realistic if you have these couple things. If you're doing your drywall work and you're doing all your painting and you're just buying materials, then yeah, you probably can you probably can get a lot of stuff done with that seven thousand dollars. So that's what that's what I was working with. I was working with about seven, eight thousand dollars, and that's why, I, you know, I bargained. I found a used furnace, found a used hot water tank, you know, plump running all new water lines in your property. People think that's a real expensive. It's not as expensive as you think you buy your materials. It's just a craftsmanship. You take your time with it, right? 
um, that stuff really doesn't cost. It's just the, you're paying for the labor. And if you're willing to teach yourself how to do it, you know, YouTube is a hell of a tool. Um, Noah, hey, I'm on, I'm making, I'm shooting a video right now for my YouTube subscribers. So I need you guys to be kind of quiet. Okay. I'm on, I'm on, I'm live. We live. Can you close that door, please? Um, you going back out? Okay. You want to be on the camera? You want to say hi to my team? All right. Come on. No, no. You can say hi and then you can get, you can leave. Come over. Come over. It's my son. It's my son. This is why, this is my, one of my why's so why I do what I do. Okay. You can go. Go surprise, go subscribe to my channel, Jeremiah's World 7007. <laughs> yeah. Kids gotta love them. Okay. Um, but yeah, so when it comes to, um, the, um, the amount of money, I mean, you can get started with it, you know, at the end of the day, but you gotta look at it like this. If you're able to buy a house, I think I'm buying a house and buy, you know, on a mortgage, you know, you can, you know, work as you go, you know, when you get some extra money, put it into your house, you know, but I'm for the people that want to get down and use your hands to put it together. You know, that's the big, that's the only way um, you will be able to, uh, one of my subscribers said they, they, they'll subscribe. Thank you. What, what are you eating? So you gonna open my chips and think it's gonna be okay? You lied. Jesus Christ. That's messed up. 27 billion trillion Okay. Shh. Okay. Go. All right, yeah. Um, yeah, guys, so I would say start with 10,000. You know, if you got it, got to get it, you know. I have a subscriber now that actually reached out to me and told me like, hey, he's living in his property and he ain't got nothing in it. So I'm gonna work out something with him. We're gonna work out a payment plan to get him some electricity in there, get him some water and stuff like that. You know, I'm here to help you guys out. At the end of the day, you guys helping me feed my family. I'm helping you guys build your generational wealth. You know, it's, it's, it's gonna work out, um, you know. So do we have any more questions? Because I'm about to get in, get some Call of Duty in. Um, but as you guys, as I told you guys, man, I'm doing this full time, man. And I, I love it. I love that you guys are supporting me like you do, you know, with everything. I need to get a haircut. This is terrible. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so hopefully they uh, they approve this video. Um, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you know, you know, this whole journey, I don't know, you know, you know, I don't know what you guys' religion is, but I'm a God fearing man, you know, I try to do everything right. But, you know, um, you know, I just want to make sure that, um, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and, you know, giving back. And it's not going to be any questions about Calvin McGee and giving back to you guys because at the end of the day, you got to help people because, you know, you never know what people are going through. You never know. Like I used to tell my cousins and stuff like this, um, hey, God could take everything away from me. And, you know, what do I have left? You know, so give it while I got it. Okay, do a class on how to pay. <laughs> hey, bro, I need it. Look. Let my cousins tell you, shoot, I suck too. I have, I have them, I have my moments when I turn into a, I turn into John, uh, turn into John Wick, and then the mother days I'll be like, it'd be like, ooh, <laughs> do you think Detroit is coming? Oh, absolutely. No, no, uh, no questions. No, what is it? No questions down or whatever they. Oh, oh man, I'm terrible at this. Um, absolutely, Detroit is, it's back. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's back because they putting so much money into it. It's crazy. It is crazy, you know. It's actually uh, pretty dope. Uh, the mayor of Detroit uh, started following my um, my uh, Instagram, and I was like, you know, I got, I was, I was hype about that. So it must, it's, it's definitely getting up there, guys. Um, I'm actually going to be um, looking the block where my apartment building is. Uh, the 
the neighbors and stuff wanted me to create a block club. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm, they already say I'm going to be president of the block club. So I said, okay, well, cool. I could be, I could do that. So um, definitely working on some things, guys. What is this here? Hold on. Do you think uh, I practice real Call of Duty? You say you practice real Call of Duty. Oh, <laughs> yes. Bright Mo is a hard. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, Bright Mo is. Hey, 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 Bright Mo. Hey, look. I, I went to school. I went to uh, Refford. In Bright Mo. Um, Highland Park for sure. Uh, but Bright Mo is a good area and it's a good coming up area. Um if um in Bright Mo, that's where actually when Kwame Kilpatrick was mayor, he was building they were building a lot of homes there. And it's a lot of new homes in the area, it's a lot of land there. So, you know, definitely Highland Park, um last time I checked it was coming up for sure. Um I don't I don't I don't I don't want to say I'm not familiar too familiar with the area, but I definitely know when a lot of stuff was getting purchased up, Highland Park was one of those areas where they went in there and they bought a lot of property up. So, you know, uh, Brightmo, but definitely, you know, I, I like Brightmo. I mean, you know, that's where some of my family lives. So, you know, and I grew up in that area too. So, and went to high school there. So definitely was a good area. Man, we got nine people on this live. So y'all better find the question to ask me. I don't want no discrepancies. Y'all about to have me have a whole misunderstanding with you. Um, but also, too, guys, I would like for you guys, also, uh, we, had, we had 10 people now. I would like for you guys to go through my videos, pick your favorite video, and share it. You know, your favorite video of mine, if you could share it for me. And actually, since you guys are on my live, if you haven't liked... All my videos, go through and like all the videos. That helps the YouTube uh, algorithm. I'm actually uh, 600 hours away from getting a, um, what's it called? Getting, um, being able to get sponsorships from YouTube and stuff. So I need you guys' help and support because I'm supposed to have 3,000 hours, right? And I'm like 600 hours away from the 3,000. So, um Watching the videos, all that support definitely will help out. Hold on, I got some more stuff here. Come out, came out this weekend to hook up. Take a look at Bright More. Cool, thank you. When you see a. I got you. I, I answer for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, Bright is definitely a good area. Hey, man, them chips gone, bro. She didn't. She she didn't. She didn't slid in the room, and she didn't. She didn't ate them up, bro. And she thinks stuff about to be sweet. Um, it's about to be, we about to have a whole misunderstanding when I get off this live. Okay, do you think thirty grand is a good enough number to fix? Absolutely, for sure, for sure. Thirty grand, yeah. I mean, I say thirty grand is a good number. Anything higher than really, for real, for real. If you got fifteen thousand, I say start now. Why not? You know what I'm saying? As long as you got to grind up and get it, you know. Uh, but definitely, for sure, 700 square feet, yeah, that's a small home. And I always say, if it's your first home, start small. A house is a house at the end of the day because no matter how big your house is, it depends on how many bedrooms you got. The rent going to be the same. If you got a 12,000 square feet home, they only got three bedrooms, and I got a 700 square foot room, they got three bedrooms, I'm going to charge the same amount of rent. Um, Let's see here. Thanks for the info, brother. No problem. I appreciate you. Do you have a course about the land bank? My course, I am the course. You know, um, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, I thought about making an ebook and all this type of stuff, which I may do in the, later on down the line. But I ain't, I feel like I ain't that big to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all. I'm not about to give y'all a digital product. I'm gonna give y'all me. I'm gonna give y'all flesh and blood. Um, boots on the ground. Now, when it gets to being a, a whole bunch of pe hundreds and hundreds of people, then yeah, I might have to create a digital product for you guys to sign up for. But as of right now, you guys, I'm accessible. Um, and you know, hey, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do that, do it that way. And then, of course, some digital products, man, they, they, they be people be taxing on those. I don't know if I'm ready to do that. I mean, because at the end of the day, I still want to keep it real, you know what I'm saying, and then. Because at the end of the day, you reach out to me and I'm like, okay, yeah, here's your course. If you anything like me, online courses don't help me. I have to see hands-on. I was never the, the book smart person. I was the person I could look at something, 
analyze it, and then I'm I'm good and I can do it, right? So, and this skills trade, no, what you're not going to do is play my game. That's what you're not going to do. You can take your iPad. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. You actually, actually, I'm, you have your own room. See you, buddy. Bye-bye. Or I'm going to cut your internet off. Bye-bye. Okay, I think, yeah. <laughs> okay, do you have a course? Do you work with people? Yes, I work with all everybody. Everybody, that's, anybody that supports my channel, um, <laughs> anybody that supports my channel, I work with them. You know, so um, I actually have a good friend of mine that's flying in from, oh, shoot. What is today? It's, uh... Oh, that's today, Tuesday. So tomorrow, ah, I got to do something tomorrow. I'm glad we just talked about it. Yeah, so I actually have a friend of mine that's flying in from California. That's actually, he actually trying to buy, he's buying a um, apartment building. So I'll be working with him on that. Um, but yeah, I actually, I, I support everybody that support me. So you support my channel, watch my videos and stuff like this. Hey, whatever, whatever you need, I, if I can help, I can help. You know, that's just basically how it is. For, for a lot of my Detroiters, a lot of people that reach out to me, um, I help them a lot, a lot, lot more, I guess. Um, you know, cause a lot, sometimes it's just somebody I know, you know, so, and if I just see somebody trying, they just need some guidance. That's what I try to do. Does the roof have to be complete? Um, technically the roof has nothing to do with what's on the list with the land bank. So... You know, if you got a leaky roof, that has nothing to do with the, nothing on the list if you buy the house. Just, you know, they're coming in and making sure all four sides are clear debris, making sure your kitchen and bathroom is in. The roof has nothing to do with it. Now, when you take the picture of the outside and I see a big old hole in your roof from the picture, then yeah, you probably won't achieve compliance with a big old hole in your roof on the final walkthrough. But um if that makes sense. Okay, how the apartment buildings what I do is and this is what you can do it wherever you live. I use Zillow. Okay, so land bank, you ain't about to get no apartments off the land bank. That that's that's dead. You you that train has left. That boat has sailed. Um, but people that does have apartment that people that do have apartment buildings that are up for sale, what I typically go I, I go on Zillow, clear out everything, look, put in the search for apartment buildings. Um, and then I put in as far as bathrooms, I put four bathrooms. So typically your fourplex and anything up, four plus bathrooms, those will pop up. And you put the price at any's and you'll be able to see whatever it is that's available in the area that you're looking for. And that's all over the U.S. You can use that. That's why I use Zillow to find. Uh, but typically, like my apartment building, even though it's not done, you have to pay about 100000 for mine. Just without, if I didn't do any work to it. The work that I did to it, right? So my apartment building for sure, where it's at right now, bare minimum two hundred thousand for sure. Okay, let's see here. Do you recommend any specific amount of money to be set aside to get started? I looked into this before, and they would suggest you do with. So, um, as far as money set aside, I would say a cushion number, you have 20000 you know, and that's including what you, after, that's including after you purchase it. Excuse me. Oh, boy, I'm tired. Um, you want to have, I say like I said this earlier, but you want to have at least 20000 separate from whatever you purchased the property from. Now, like I said before, if you're a person that work a nine to five and you have 401k, you actually can withdraw money out your 401k called a hardship withdrawal 
to uh, either for a massive repair for your house that you own or to purchase your first home. So you can you can use your 401k for that, you know, and at the end of the day, it's an investment. Now, that's you know, that's what I did a hardship withdrawal. From, it was for my first purchase. That's what I used my 401k for for my first house. And that first investment kept repeating itself, you know, because I end up, you know, after I stayed in it for a while, I end up moving. Yeah. So. Um, I would say 20,000 now for the person that can't get it. Did I have 20,000? No, but hey guys, so you see this bum here, Marsh Marsh, you see him, he, bro, he's been hating on my YouTube channel since I started doing this and I don't understand why. So YouTube got rid of the thumbs down button. So this guy here goes in and creates his own thumbs down button. So he literally has went through and disliked all my videos. Why he does that, I don't know. And I, I, he's from Canada too, so he's make he's the only Canadian I don't like. Everything else, everybody else in Canada, I love. You know, he's the only one I don't like. But actually, I do like him because he helps out the YouTube algorithm because he makes sure because that we get graded on interaction. But I don't know why he 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 just he literally goes out of his way just to hate. So. <laughs> He wants to be my friend. He wants to be my friend. I, I I don't know. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't have no friends, was a person that that's that guy because he has them. He has the notification notification bell and all that stuff. Because every time I post a video, within like one minute, he's doing a thumbs down. So if y'all guys check through my videos, he he dislikes everything. So he helps me out. I guess I get. I don't know. Okay, when is the best time to bid? Okay, I'm gonna drop. You know what? I wasn't gonna tell nobody the best time to bid is like three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning when you bid on on and down property. I'm gonna tell you why. Because the average person that bid it on a property is not up at three o'clock and four o'clock in the morning trying to check the bid. So I have always bid it at three to four o'clock in the morning because 72 hours later, at three o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning, the bid is gonna be over with. The average person may just fall asleep. So that's one uh way to get up on them, right? Okay, let's see. Gotta love the haters because <laughs> they watch it. Hey, you hear me? If you got some haters, make sure you get some more. You feel me? <laughs> oh, man. Views going up because <laughs> of you. For real, for real. Uh, he making... You, for real, like he really... like he, he don't even understand. Like that's what I'm saying. But the the funny part about it is YouTube. So I, a while back, YouTube got rid of the dislike button because I think they were saying that this was causing people anxiety and stressed out for our YouTubers and stuff like that. So they got rid of the dislike button. So I just started cracking up. I was thinking to myself, Dad, what is he going to do? He, he has no dislike button, no thumbs down. And he started posting thumbs down. I started dying laughing. It's crazy. It was funny too. And you know, my son go hard for me. I I next you know I look on a couple video I think yesterday's video, my son and his his friends jumped on there it's like why are you hating I said these boys going hard, oh man. No, nah, he ain't no bot because uh he used to talk he used to like you know, uh, communicate talk about how bad Detroit was and is a he was always hating talking about it was very violent and all this type of stuff and I had to cut into him like you know so. You know, but yeah, you know that Cat Williams special they was talking about. If you got a hater, you make sure you get some more haters. You know, so that's that's basically it. You know, that's just basically what we do. Oh man, guys, man, this is this is dope, man. This was like the fun, the the like, it's funnest the word, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. My wife helped me out with my grammar because I went to DBS and, you know, right. But, um, God, I'll be shooting all my content with this here. This thing, I don't wore this thing out. This is my, that's my, um, uh, that's why I usually shoot a lot of my content. So if you ever see it kind of dark and stuff like that, that's because of, um, the lighting. But I'm, I just ordered a ring light thing. So hopefully that'll work out. Okay, good. Okay. 
Man, I hope he get one too for sure. He need one. Okay, you make. Yeah, you can make your yeah you can make your home a open floor plan. It's really up to you. I mean, now when it comes to you can't just be tearing down walls because you got to make sure they're not low bearing walls. So that other than that, it's up to you. You know, if you look at the the video or if you go on my Instagram, you'll see where I tore out the wall for the um uh, in a um. In the dining room area, I uh, made it a. Uh, I put the. I made the kitchen. I put the kitchen in the dining room. So now it's just completely open now. And uh, hey, hey, hey! I'm I'm still live here. Thank you, sir. Um. Yeah. So you can definitely do that. Now, when it comes to if you want to get, um, if you're dealing with a low bearing wall, and a low bearing wall is a wall that's holding up your home. Um. You typically want to get with a licensed contractor, structural engineer, just to make sure that you got the right beam supporting your your property. Mm, okay, guys, you know what? I think you guys let me know out of the eight people that's viewing this video, comment what what days and what times you guys think I should. Um, do more lives because i like this question and you know these questions and stuff like that i was thinking about doing like maybe saturday nights or something like that or whatever um where i want to just go live and you know so that way you guys can ask me some questions and stuff like that and also maybe even bring somebody on um on thor so you're just gonna come in the kitchen like i'm not in here see thor just be sitting here looking for scraps and stuff like that on the kitchen floor. He just thinks so he just thinks stuff is okay. Man, I got one of the laziest American bullies you can know. <laughs> okay. You say six o'clock Easter standard. Saturday is nice, it's perfect. Regular schedule time. Yeah, Saturday, six o'clock. That may be that may we might be able to do that. We might be able to do that. Saturdays at six o'clock and I'll start scheduling um start scheduling some stuff. And um so we're gonna shoot for next Saturday, six o'clock. Um actually it's coming up Saturday. It's coming up Saturday, we're gonna do six o'clock. Look, man, she actually has a degree. Uh, my wife has a degree in education, so she's always on me about, you know, um, my grammar and stuff like that. I'm, I'm trying, you know, so never had that in my life. So, um, you know, so it is what it is. But I'm getting better. Shoot. I ain't going to lie to you. Off subject. One time we got into the, when we got when we got married and we got into our first real argument. And she usually used big words. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And she said something to me. And I still don't remember what it was. But I was like, I said, I'm like, what does that even mean? She was like, look it up. And I'm trying to tell you, she's just a small woman. And when she said, look it up, it came from deep down. You know what I'm saying? But I told her, I said, at this point, you just called me the, you called me the B word at this point. And I said, and I say, every time you say something, I don't understand what it means. You use, choose to use a big word like that. You just called me the B word. That's what I told her. <laughs> Oh man, it was the funniest thing ever. Um, okay, let's see here. Okay, now good time Saturday. People gonna be out. You say Saturday? Ah, oh. okay. Well, we're gonna probably try. Mm. I don't know, man. Maybe I just might do a couple of them. Maybe one in a weekday. Maybe a Wednesday and Saturday. We can do Wednesday and Saturday. Probably like maybe, or you know what, Wednesdays. Wednesdays at like maybe 8 o'clock. What a house. 
bro. She for real. She for real. Hey, hey, Brittany. 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 My subscribers want to ask you something. No. Come here. You ain't got to come on camera. I'm going to try to bring her here and see you. Okay, what's up? This is... No, hey, guys. It was, I only asked for Brittany. This is... <laughs> Brittany. What, this is what, what word? You remember when we was living in an apartment and you were saying something? We had gotten to that argument and you was like... And I asked you, what does it mean? And he was like, look it up. <laughs> you remember that? No. You don't remember that? She said she don't remember. She lying. Okay, so when? Okay, all right. Bye, bye, guys. Okay, remember this story. She was using big words to throw off. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly why she used big words. But uh, yeah. So Wednesdays, I know she remember. You hear me? I I'm hit. Yeah, you. She come on. I really don't. You do. Bro, I tell it. I, I thought she was. Him. I am. I am him. No, you're not. I am him. No, you're not. <laughs> That's why I was. He, he's not him. No, don't just why do a chill. You hear that? The five year old is a hater. Dad, it be your own people. The five year old is a hater. He talking about don't subscribe. Dang. It's crazy, man. Man, this, but this side is, guys, man. I, you know, this is why I do it. This is why I grind. I, I get it. Y'all ain't my. Y'all never will get this. Oh, this is easy. This is that. This ain't that. I look at a lot of YouTubers. Ain't saying no names. That's in Detroit. Oh, this is simple and everything. Ain't no, you know people ain't boots on the ground. People ain't getting it. Like people not really. You know what I'm saying? You may have some, but. You know, telling you about it and being able to help you get it. That property that uh, that you guys saw me yesterday, that property was completely, you know, he had it gutted out. Electricity ran, some water lines ran, but I mean, he got stuck. And I was able to come in there and help him out, you know, so. Yeah. Um, so, but that's here. So if you guys buy your land bank property, I will be here. I will be able to help you guys out, you know. Um be honest with you, I only charge a, maybe a third of what you're supposed to cost to get it, you know. And I, I don't do, I work it out with you guys, you know. Um, and that's it, man. Um, so let's shoot for next week, Wednesday, for the guy, the people that's on here. And I'll post in a um, regularly post you know, letting people know on the next videos. So let's pray that this company allows me to post this uh, video. Yeah, so I actually have a friend that actually does uh, clean outs. So he actually has his own company. He actually will clean it out, gut it out. So you, he, you can do whatever, whatever it is to get the, pro get the property clear. He will get he get, he will do it for you. And the good thing is, is that it'll be hauled away that day. So if you need the property gutted out, or if you clean it out yourself and put it on the curve, he'll come pick it up. Whatever you need, he he gets it done. So he has his own trash company. His name is Jordan, good friend of mine. Um, so definitely, um, yeah. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Saturdays. So we're gonna do Saturdays and we're gonna do Wednesdays. Wednesdays and Saturdays. Probably like maybe eight o'clock or something like that or whatever, you know. So um, for the the lives and um, but yeah, Jordan he definitely gets you together. Um, if you guys need his contact info, of course I always say you need to book a consultation to get that type of stuff. But you know, hey, uh oh, we got Chase Hunter in the building, fellow YouTuber. What's going on, Miss? Chase, how you feeling today? Um, actually, Miss um, Hunter does a uh, real estate tours where they go um, just touring a lot of properties in Detroit and all over. So definitely, guys, um, if another tour pops up, um, I make sure I share that uh, 
But uh, me and her are going to be uh, working together and we're going to be doing some uh, great things on some projects coming up. Um, so you guys definitely can uh, stay tuned to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think she's uh, I think she's out on vacation or something. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> yeah, man. But um, <sighs> yeah. Sure, I've been on here talking for 45 minutes. You know, my father always told me I talk a lot. <laughs> I need to go get to the barbershop for real, for real. I'm out here looking raggly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Son, son, what you're not going to do is talk junk to me on my live. I'm him right now. When I press live, I'm him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, Miss um, Hunter, why don't you get, uh, you need to text me and uh, so we can go over some things. And, um, but guys, so I am about to jump off of here. Um, and, um, we're going to pray, look for that video. Um, I'm going to touch bases with her. Look for the, the new video by one o'clock. Um, I will post on the channel. Um, I'm either going to be real happy or real upset. So I don't know. So. Um, you know, so hopefully they allow me to post that video. So until the next time, guys, I love you. Uh, also don't forget to go and share your favorite YouTube video of mine. Don't forget to leave a comment saying this is my favorite one. This is the one I like and leave your email address. So comment, this is the favorite video and your email address. All right, and then you may get an email from me directly. I will pick maybe one or two people. All right, guys, you have a great day.